So what is going on guys, Nanobits93 here with another video and if you've been watching the channel I've mentioned a few times that I've been waiting to get my hands on the M1 MacBook Air and lo and behold we got our hands on it and the main thing that I want to focus on is a Microsoft series right and the reason is because you guys love the Microsoft series on the iPad so I wanted to bring it to the M1 MacBook to see how compatible it is right because obviously the Microsoft Suite is made by Microsoft, which is not officially built for the M1 Mac. Up until recently, if you guys saw that article by Mac Rumors saying that Microsoft is going to slowly start to roll out M1 optimized, you know, Microsoft O365 applications, which is amazing to see. So I want to walk you guys through the installation process and then kind of go through every single app, you know, video by video. So comment below exactly what app you guys want me to go with first, whether it's Word, PowerPoint, Excel, whatever the case may be and we'll kind of just go from there guys. But to get started, we're gonna show you guys exactly how to install Microsoft Office, especially the main applications, which are Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and Teams. And now there's two ways to actually download it. You have the M1 MacBook way, which is through the actual Apple App Store, and then you can actually go through the regular office.com way, and we're gonna go with that route, because I wanna see if you go through the office.com website, if you download it as an M1 optimized app, or if it downloads as a normal Intel-based application so let's hop right into it and I'm excited guys let's see if the hype is real so guys I did want to show you this article by The Verge which actually came out a couple days ago December 15th so yesterday as of this videos you know recorded time basically saying that Microsoft is gonna begin to roll out updates to the M1 MacBook Air or any M1 related Mac OS machine saying that they're going to update Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint, and OneNote, and then hopefully also Teams for the M1 MacBook. So what I'm going to do is first off I'm going to show you that you can actually download them directly from the App Store itself, right, which is right here. But I'm going to avoid this for now because I want to go with the other direction. I've never actually downloaded it from here before, but I want to go with the actual office.com. So this is how I've always learned to download the Microsoft Suites. I'm already signed into my work email address. I'm logged into my OneDrive, logged into my Microsoft Suite. So if I go in here, press Premium Office Download, I'm gonna allow this download. And we're just gonna go through this installation process together, guys. So it's gonna be pretty large, so we'll come back. And in the meantime, I do wanna show you that I'm actually on an M1 MacBook. If you guys can see right there, the chip is the Apple M1. I got the eight gigabyte version running Big Sur 11.0.1. .1. I know that there's an 11.1 .1 update. I just haven't gotten around to it yet because I literally just opened up this computer. And I just wanted to prove it to you guys that we are on the M1 chip. And again, if you guys watch my how to get Apple products for cheap through the education store, you guys will know that this is the cheapest version of the MacBook Air with the M1 chip. And I got it for $900 instead of that $1,000 price point. But let's open up this and see exactly what happens, right? So. This is actually new, I've never seen this before. So this says, how do you want to install this software? Install it for all users on this computer or install it for a specific disk? So I think this means that if you create other users within this computer, that it allows you to have these applications as a default on all the different users. So I'm just gonna let it kind of do its thing because I don't plan on having anybody else use this, maybe my wife, but she'll just use my account and let the installation process begin. Now you guys saw that this is 9.5 gigabytes because it's bringing all the major applications over. So we're gonna download all these get them installed, and then I'm just gonna open them and see how they run, and we're also gonna see if we need to go through Rosetta to translate it over to the M1 operating system to be able to actually use them, or if they're automatically downloaded as M1 versions directly through the office.com portal. Normally, when you go to download new applications on the M1 machine, it gives you two options. It says you can download the Intel version or download the M1 version, and that's exactly what I did with Chrome, actually, but I digress. Let's keep going. I'll be right back. So guys, we tried to actually download Microsoft Suite through office.com and it was a absolute fail. And I believe the reason that's the case is because of the fact that Microsoft actually released their M1 optimized versions on the Apple's App Store. So if we just go in here and type in Microsoft, type in Microsoft Office, and then this is what we're gonna wanna get into, right? So I'm gonna view this and we're gonna download this and we're gonna download this all together. So here you get Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote and OneDrive. So this doesn't bring Microsoft Teams. You might have to go to the office.com website for that and then use Rosetta for that one. But let's get into this one, see what the installation process is like, see how long it takes, and just kind of see what the process is like. 
So as you guys can see, it says purchase right here, which just means downloaded. And in the launch pad, they're actually downloading. As you guys can see, Microsoft Word is first up, and I'm assuming the other ones just kind of fall into place. So when they're all downloaded, I'll bring you guys back up. So just to bring you guys back in, you can see that we have Microsoft Outlook, OneDrive, Excel, Word, PowerPoint is still downloading, and OneNote just finished downloading. So we're just waiting on Microsoft PowerPoint for them all to finish downloading. And then what my plan is to do is just to open them all quickly, kind of see what the experience is like, because I know what it is compared to the other MacBook that I have over there with an i5 Intel chip. So I'll come back to you guys. And as you can see, it's 7.12 right now. I think it started at around seven o'clock, just to keep that in mind. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have all the main applications down here, right? We have Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. So I'm gonna open them all up. I did open up Outlook just to sign in to my corporate account to be able to kind of sign in across all of them to make it easy. But let's open them all and kind of just see how quickly they open. Oh my God. This is night and day so much faster. So we can start using that. So there's OneNote, they're all open. Let's make sure we have Outlook all set up. Maybe later. As you can see, this is my entire email account. I have Microsoft Excel open with all of my OneDrive files in here, which is all nice. Same with Word. And I'm gonna quit out of them again and just see how fast they open. So let me just get this all in. Quit out of PowerPoint. As you can see, all the dots are gone down here. And let's go, here we go. This is incredible. I don't think you guys understand how incredible this is to see this go so freaking quickly, right? So let me get out of OneNote, out of PowerPoint, out of Excel, and then this is Outlook, and it seems to be working amazingly and very, very quickly, right? And I did wanna show you guys the new Outlook, which I'll touch on a little bit more in a future video, but if I wanna switch to the new Outlook, let it open up again, and this is the new Mac OS Outlook, which is gorgeous right now. I'm still learning the ins and outs of it to see exactly what's going on because I'm used to the old one, but this is the new one and it looks gorgeous. But let's go back to the old one because I want to, because I'm going to do a totally separate video going over the new Outlook and let's quit out all that. But what I did want to show you is that with the Microsoft Suite, I did download OneDrive, right? And when I went to go open OneDrive, it showed me this. So this is where I need to install Rosetta. So Rosetta is a software that changes Intel-based coded applications into whatever the M1 can read, right? So let that install. Let's go back into OneDrive, see if it opens. And as you guys can see, I'm pretty stuck right here, right? So this is the these are the learning curves that we're gonna go through with everything. So whenever you get an M1 MacBook or anything M1 related, give yourself some time to get it set up correctly, exactly how you want. So let me enter in my details here because I did have to enter them in manually. Let it do its thing, it's signing me in. It's loading up. And now one of the most important things for me is a sync feature for OneDrive. So we'll choose a folder location. And yeah, let's just put it on the desktop, guys. Choose this location. Let's press next. And we are in our system, ladies and gentlemen. So this is my folder. This is my OneDrive folder. I saved everything from my other MacBook into this OneDrive folder and it's perfect. So that's pretty much what I wanted to walk you guys through. Exactly what the process is like, how quickly, like this is insane how quickly this is opening. I don't think you guys understand how slow the older Microsoft applications work on the old Intel MacBook Airs, which is again, over there. And we'll do a full comparison later on as well. But that is the installation process in, in a nutshell. And like I said, in order to get applications from Microsoft like OneDrive, like Teams, you're gonna have to install Rosetta, you're gonna have to go through that process. But if I wanna open up OneDrive again, first off, let me move it over here, get it to the, exactly where I want. And if I wanna open up OneDrive again, as you can see, it opens up very, very quickly. So it's as if it's a native application already. But let's get out of this view. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that part. Let's go back to the normal view. Whew. So as you guys saw, the actual M1 native applications for Microsoft, at least the ones that were already changed up, work extremely well. You guys, how quickly it opened up, how quickly I was able to go in and out of the applications, how quickly I was able to sign in and have everything kind of sync from my OneDrive folder and from my OneDrive applications and kind of everything seamlessly start to integrate and seamlessly start, seamlessly start to work. So, so far impressed. Now again, it's only been like an hour since I've had the computer. It did take a little while. As you guys saw, I went through the office.com website first. 
it kind of broke on me. I had to reset the computer and then go through the actual app store. So that kind of leaves me thinking that I got to figure out a different way to download Microsoft Teams, which I'll again talk to you guys in a future video. So definitely subscribe if you guys want to find out everything about Microsoft Office on the M1 MacBook because I know that's what the following is. A lot of you guys are in the professional world, are in the business world, and are just big Microsoft users because of the corporate setting that you're in. So being able to have that on a Mac OS computer with an M1 native chip is gonna be a beautiful thing and we're gonna to start to see things just start to amp up and start to really get very quick, guys, and I love to see that. And like I said, comment below the first application you guys wanna see, an in-depth walkthrough of how it works on the M1, if there's any differences, any similarities uh, compared to a regular Intel Mac, and maybe even compared to the iPad Pro, because again, we're kinda of getting into that world where they're kinda of meshing together a little bit, guys. But but again, it doesn't come without its little bit of challenges. There's a little bit of a learning curve, like I mentioned. You're gonna to wanna to go in, give yourself a couple hours to set up your M1 MacBook Air or M1 MacBook or any M1 machine that you're using just to make sure that you have everything you need working for your job, right? So for instance, I'm setting this up at night to make sure that it's working for me tomorrow morning. I would never turn this on in the morning to try to set it up and spend two, three hours in the morning setting it up. But other than that little hiccup of the office.com versus the app store, everything worked seamlessly once I went through the app store and I'm very, very happy so far. But again, that's gonna do it for this video. Comment below the next application you wanna see. And until next time, peace.